All right, banana pudding. That's what I'm making today, but I'm re-wrapping it. I'm rethinking it. I'm taking it to a place full of tacos. I'm gonna take the idea of a taco and my love for banana pudding and smash them together to reimagine banana pudding and dessert tacos. A super easy, very delicious banana pudding plus a vanilla wafer waffle cone taco shell. You know that this was one of my most popular taco creations that I ever created. And I did go on a two to three year spurt where every single Tuesday I made a different taco. From savory to sweet, from breakfast to dinner, snacks and everything in between. And that is what inspired today's dessert taco. I love banana pudding. I love it. And I'm always trying to take things that I love and rewrap them. And that's where the inspiration came for the banana pudding taco. So banana pudding, all you really need for this is to add milk and then whisk it all together and throw it in the fridge. And essentially, there you go. That's your banana pudding, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm using two cups of heavy cream and that is intentional. The reason I'm doing that is to get a thicker consistency. And I'm not even gonna stop there. Not only gonna add some more thickness via some uh, sweetened condensed milk, but later on, add some actual whipped cream to fluff this entire thing up. You know what TikTok's good for? A lot of things, but the best thing TikTok is good for is teaching you how to do things properly. Things we might've been doing wrong our whole lives, like opening up a banana. I always thought that you opened up the banana from this side, but in reality, you're supposed to open it up from the other end. Monkeys taught us, taught us that. Add some of these bananas. There's already a tremendous amount of banana flavor going on in here. Adding the fresh bananas is just gonna kinda change up the consistency a tad and add a little bit more awesomeness to something that's already awesome. But I'm not done there. I want more texture. Vanilla wafers. I got these vanilla wafers right over here. These are bigger than your average, so I'm gonna just kinda crush them up loosely. This bowl filled with banana wafers, banana and banana puddings and heavy cream is incredible already. But I'm making tacos and this is just the taco meat. This goes in the fridge. It's gonna settle up, stay cool, while I make vanilla sugar waffle cones. Okay, so waffle cone taco shells. Essentially, it's a waffle cone, but not turned into a cone, rather just fitted in between a taco shell mold, and then it'll end up looking like so. But this is not gonna be your average waffle cone recipe. The main difference between this and a regular waffle cone is vanilla sugar. It's exactly what you think it is. It's granular sugar mixed with fresh vanilla bean pods. You can even see the little pieces of vanilla running through the entire thing and it smells amazing, almost artificial. Like, you know, you smell like a vanilla candle you get at the body shop or Bath and Body Works or Yankee Candle or whatever, not sponsored. That's what it kind of smells like, except you can eat it. Yeah, that's vanilla. To this bowl goes the egg, melted butter, vanilla sugar, and milk. So the egg, milk, and butter mixture gets mixed in with the AP flour. And then I'm gonna use one of my many fancy whisks. Just combine everything together. So our vanilla bean waffle cone batter looks incredible. Little pieces of vanilla running through the entire thing. It looks super inviting. All right, now let's bring it over to the waffle maker and start pressing out some cones. Or should I say shells? We've got our waffle cone maker over here. Usually just put a certain amount on, press it and see how far we're getting. And then once that's done and right before it cools, we only have a couple seconds, I'm gonna use this to mold it in the shape of a taco shell. Banana pudding is prepped halfway through. The banana pudding waffle taco shells are good to go. They're just getting to room temperature so that they don't melt the pudding. Now I'm gonna make the whipped cream to not only put on top of the tacos, but also fold into the banana pudding taco meat. For the whipped cream, I'm just gonna whip together some heavy whipping cream with some vanilla and not add any sugar. And the reason I'm doing that is because there is a ton of sugar passing through every element of this recipe. That sickly sweet taste. You know the one I'm talking about where you eat something super sweet and your cheekbones feel like they're sweating? We're not trying to get there. So no sugar is gonna be used in this whipped cream. Okay, that's perfect. Not falling off, but also not kind of looking like it's buttercream. So we have the whipped cream, the vanilla whipped cream. About one third of this is gonna be used to top the waffles. So what I'm gonna use the rest for is to fold into the banana 
cream pudding just to give it a little bit more airiness, you know, take the density out of it, make it a little bit fluffier. Already they look insane, right? But there's more to it. The garnish. What is a meal without a garnish? I'm gonna crush up some vanilla wafers, literally just sprinkle on some on the top of each one of these, and you're gonna see it's already looking like insane. Woo! Check this bad boy out, guys. Let's just go outside in just to review before this gets shoved into my face hole. Vanilla sugar based waffle cone taco shell tortilla, a very easy path of least resistance banana cream pudding with not only real bananas, but also vanilla wafers and whipped cream built into the actual pudding. The entire thing is topped with more whipped cream and more vanilla wafers. I do it for you, but really I do it for the culture. Did I have to make this into a taco? Obviously not, but things are always better in taco form, which is why I'm gonna shove it, shove it right now. <laughs> Let's break into this. I know what it tastes like, but this is for you, okay? It's for you, internet, all this bite. You know, if you're one of those people that asks me the same question every time I make a taco, like how are you supposed to eat that? I do it for the art, you know? Like artistically, it looks really sick, but you can eat it with your mouth like I just did, or just go in with a spoon, dummy. The wafers that I mixed in with the pudding have softened kind of like a cake now. Like it feels like there's vanilla cake inside the taco pudding, but really it's just vanilla wafers. This is one of those recipes, guys, so easy to complete. Follow along, it's that simple. If there's a taco creation or anything else that you wanna see in video form, then leave a comment down below and like always, hit subscribe and if you're already subscribed, turn on notifications. See you guys on the next one, bye.